Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. Now, what we have here, this follows. Now we have a raised to the power m minus n. You can write this as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. But this here, we have 5 raised to the power x over 5 squared equals to 120 on this side. Then, from here, we can write this as 5 raised to the power x over 5 squared, 5 times 5, that's 25. Equals to, here yeah, we can write this as 120 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply. At this we have 5 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 5 raised to the power x. Equals to 120 times 25. The next step here. We take the log on both sides. Here we have log 5 raised to the power x equals to log 120 times 25. Then from here, apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m is to the power p, this is something as p log m. At this here we have x log 5 equals to log 120 times 25. Then here we divide both sides by log 5. That is divide this side by log 5. Also divide this side by log 5. That is here log 5 cancelled each other. And we have x equals to log 1 around 20 times 25 then over log 5 then from what we have here this follows log logarithm what we have log a times b this is same thing as log a plus log b at this here we have x equals to log 120 plus log 25 over log 5 then next step here we separate this into two fractions as this we have x equals to log 120 over log 5 plus log 25 over log 5. Then here also 25 same thing as 5 times 5, which is 5 squared. At this we have x equals to log 120 over log 5 plus log 5 squared over log 5. Then here we apply the power of logarithm. That this two comes in. What we have becomes x equals to log 120 over log 5 plus 2 log 5 over log 5. Then from here we have log 5 cancelled each other. At this two left here we have x equals to log 120 over log 5 plus 2. Then also from here, we can express 120 as 5 times 24. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 5 times 24 over log 5 plus 2. Then this also follows the law of logarithm. I write as x equals to log 5 plus log 24 over log 5 plus 2. Then we also separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 
24 over log 5 plus 2. That is, here we have log 5 cancelled each other, one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus 2 plus log 24 over log 5. That is, this becomes x equals to 1 plus 2, that's 3, plus log 24 over log 5. Then from here, we can write 24 as 8 times 3, which implies this becomes x equals to 3 plus log 8 times 3 over log 5. Then, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we can write as x equals to 3 plus log 8 plus log 3 over log 5. Then here we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 3 plus log 8 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. And from here also it's same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 that's 2 raised to the power 3. But this what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 raised to the power 3 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Then here we apply the power of log 3 comes here and we have x equals to 3 plus 3 log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Then, here we apply change of base here. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus 3 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Here we have the value of x in this given problem as 3 plus 3 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Then let's check if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus 3 log 2 is 5 plus log 3 is 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 3 plus 3 log 2 is 5 plus log 3 is 5 minus 2. Is it equals to 120 on this side? Then here, 3 minus 2, that's 1. Because this is 5 raised to the power 1 plus 3 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. This is equals to 120 on this side. Then, from here, we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power n plus n, it's the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. That is, here we have 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 3 log 2 base 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5. Is this equals to 120 on this side? And here, 5 raised to power 1, that's 5. Times. Yeah, we can reverse this three here. We have 5 raised to the power log 2 raised to the power 3, which is 8, is 5 times 5 raised to the power log 3, which is 5. Is it equals to 120 on this side? Then, yeah, this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a. This is equals to b. And this here we have 5 times 
here becomes 8 then times here we have 3 is it equals to 120 on this side and 5 times 8 40 times 3 that's 120 which is equals to 120 here. we have left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude here that x equals to 3 plus 3 log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget your steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comments see you next class and bye for now